What's going on guys, Big Up The Hacks here, coming at you with a brand new video. I hate saying, I hate saying, it, it, it's the way my intro goes in a sense, uh, or, or it's like, what up, what up guys, Big Up The Hacks here, coming at you with a brand new video. It's it's not a brand new video, like I, I hate saying that. From now on, I'm going to change my intro to something else, but I'm not going to say coming at you or bringing you, obviously I'm bringing you, you're watching a brand new video, but in two weeks it's not going to be brand new anymore, so I'm going to switch it up, I'm going to get a little bit more versatile. I don't know. Anyway, so I, I wanted to make this video now that I'm driving. I figure I've never done a, a, a drive along with Hoplic Hacks um, video. So I, I decided to do this today because, you know, it's been a couple of days since Nate Shot uh, decided to, to announce his, his retirement from, uh, not retirement, but, you know, his hiatus from competitive Call of Duty. And, and obviously, I don't know if you guys are, are, are aware of this, right? But when he said that I'm, you know, he's gonna take a break from competitive Call of Duty, he means from competing at the level that he was competing in previously. Will he still be competing? Yes. He played like four SND tournaments so far, and that's like what he likes to do. Um, when he told me that, I wasn't shocked, and I wasn't surprised, but I was a little shocked, and I was a tiny little bit surprised, right? Because He's been thinking about this for, for a while, right? He's been thinking about his responsibility as the face of Call of Duty, his responsibility as, you know, the face of Optic, and his responsibility for, you know, the, the, the weight that he puts on his shoulders to, to, to continue to, to create as much content as possible to continue to grow the audience. And it's not just him that feels this way, right? Scumpy feels the same way, I feel the same way, you know, Embos, you know, everybody in Optic feels this, this, this particular way. We know that without a growing audience, Call of Duty is going to become stagnant, and then we're going to get into this little point of, of a, of, of a place where we're going to be stuck the way that, that Halo was in a sense, or, or we're going to be in a place where we don't want to be, right? We, we understand that continuing to build an audience is something that, that we need to do, and Nature takes it upon himself to, to, to put all of this weight on his shoulders. He's a very worrisome young man. Like most of the time that he gets like anxiety attacks is because he's like putting all this pressure on himself and and it's just one of those things right it makes him who he is and it makes him the successful person that he is because he's always like like anxious and he's always like worried he's always like trying to do better to continue to grow and to and to continue to expand you know so for me like i said it wasn't a surprise because he's been talking about it for a while but he had this worry of like can i step away for a little bit can i take a break without risking both, you know, Call of Duty status or Call of Duty's, you know, growing audience or w w will his break affect the growth that we've experienced so far because we've experienced some good growth in Call of Duty and Optic and and, and, and is that. And and I told him straight up, I'm like, bro, like there's, there's, there's nothing that will make me happier than you quitting. No, I'm kidding. I, there's nothing that will make me happier than you being cool and, and, and relaxed and, and enjoying life, man. There's like, it's nothing will make me happier than for everybody in the optic house and everybody in the optic organ everybody in the world pretty much if you want to put it that way to have a good time and doing what they're doing um, am I worried that something might fail or something absolutely not absolutely not uh, would it be easier if nature was around which he is in in, in a sense uh, yeah of course right but but we we need to we need to let the dude do what's got what's best for him, right? And 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 it's easier for me because I see him every day, and it's easier for the guys at the house who see him every day to accept it and understand it and be okay with it. And it and it gets a little bit tougher for the fans, right? For the people that follow him regularly uh, and, and follow his story. Like, will he win? Will he win a chip? What are you doing, lady? Come on. It's just such a such a weird weird thing because I see him every day and I'm gonna continue to see him every day We're gonna continue to work together. We have we have things that we have planned We have things that we're working on projects that we're working on so I get that I just I just want to make this video to to make you guys understand that like as, as, as much as I Appreciate all that he's done for Call of Duty and all that he's done for optic and all that that we've done together. I I can't help but to back him on any decision that he makes, whether it's something like this where, you know, we understand that the Call of Duty as a whole, the Call of Duty, you know, audience, like, you know, wants to see him, wants to follow his story. Um, we just got to do it, right? It, it's as, as long as he's happy and as long as, as, as he works out whatever, you know, creative 
thing he wants to get off his chest, whatever videos he wants to make, whatever streams he wants to continue to do. As long as we support him in that sense, and that's obviously my goal, and my my goal is to support all my guys, right? Um, as long as we continue to support him in, in, in that sense, guys, I think that he's going to be okay, and there will be a time where he returns. And I'm not saying that, and, and, and I don't like the way that people talk about him as, as, as though he is gone and he's dead, right? But I can totally understand why you guys would think that or would speak in the sense of like we miss him and, and this, that, and the other. Um, and we will, right? But he's going to be going to events, right? Maybe he'll be on the analyst desks. Maybe he'll be a shoutcaster. Maybe he'll do something in the interim to get whatever he needs to do out of the... He just needs a break. And as as um, as his friend, foremost, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. And, uh, and I wanted to make this video because everybody was asking me like what my opinion was and I, I didn't think that I needed to, to do, I mean, my opinion is always going to be the same, right? Like he's my friend, I'm going to back him. I'm, uh, that's what friends do. Friends have each other's back no matter what it is. I mean, uh, you know, unless it's like murder or something that's bad, right? Um, but you get the point. To me, you know, supporting the players has always been like priority number one. And that comes maybe because I'm older and because I have a little brother and I know what it's like to have a little brother. And I know what it's, and I know how to be an older brother above anything else. So I've always been that to the guys. Um, but I'm not worried. Not one bit. You shouldn't be worried. You shouldn't be worried that one, you're not going to see him. And you shouldn't be worried, two, that Call of Duty might be in a bad spot. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. Don't think about it that way, right? Think about, think about the good thing, right? The good thing is that he's going to be streaming more. He's going to be uploading more videos. For those of you who like Minecraft videos, he's going to be uploading Minecraft videos. For those who like Call of Duty videos, he's still going to be streaming and making videos on, on competitive Call of Duty, just not in the sense of events or in 5Ks, 2Ks. I mean, shit, we might even see him in a 5K, 2K. Who knows what this guy's going to do, right? It, the, the, the world is his oyster, in a sense. He is going to do what he's gonna do and there's gonna be oh man look at this look at that train every time I see trains I always they're always like in the back of my head I'm always like oh you should go paint them um, but yeah I, I wanna I wanna end the video guys with with one thought okay I want you guys to remember this our responsibility to our friend Nate shot is to continue to grow what he is most passionate about and that's Call of Duty. Maybe he's not the workhorse anymore, or maybe he is, he just needs a break. But somebody needs to take the reins. And and, and Scumpy, and, and Crim6, and Embo's Big Timer, and everybody else who 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 lives with Nate Shot and is friends with Nate Shot, all understand his decision. And all understand that just because he quit that the, you know, or not quit, but just because he took a break, doesn't mean that the work is done. The work continues to be done we continue to push forward and you guys as as, as the optic gaming supporters and and you guys as the nate shot fans the ambos fans we have to continue to push forward like we have it, it's just a little bump on the road but the bump is something good because a friend of ours is is taking a break a break that's going to be good for him in a, in a long run uh, 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 a break that's gonna clear his mind and make him see things more clearly. Let's just keep let's just keep doing what we're doing, guys. Okay, you guys will continue to see him more than ever. So if you if you think about the amount of videos that he's gonna be putting out, the amount of streams that he's gonna be doing. So don't be sad. Be happy for my friend. Be happy for the fact that he was mature enough to understand that he doesn't have to kill himself and do something that he doesn't want to do for the benefit of other people. You know, it was it was time for him to to look within himself and say, you know what? It's time for me to do some Nate Shot stuff for Nate Shot. And, uh, and that's always healthy and that's always good. So I'll end it with that, guys. Uh, I'm about to go to the Optic House and we'll see what sort of shenanigans we're gonna be doing. But um, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, if you guys want me to do these these drive-alongs with, with Optic Hex where I give you my thoughts on certain situations and things, not that I'm interesting, but I, I certainly will do that for you guys. Um, but yeah, please remember to not leave without leaving a like. Until next time, guys, as always, this has been Up The Hex. Let's hunt the horn right now. That was me leaving a like. Now you, hunk the like. Until next time, guys, as always, this has been Up The Hex. I'm out. Rabbit ears. <laughs>